guys of Nizio Cole, and it has been about six months since the release of Watch Dogs Legion. So I want to revisit the game and kind of how I feel about this. This isn't going to be a formal review. I did my main review about a month after the game came out, and since then, a ton of things have changed with the game. So yeah, we're just going to be talking about that and how things have changed for me specifically, but just how for the game in general. And yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the performance increases. Now this is something that going into my review that I did, I knew that they would be able to optimize the game. I knew that they'd be able to do it with time. So many games that have been buggy and really laggy at launch have, you know, been optimized over time. And I didn't doubt that. So I'm not going to change my rating because that's how it was at launch. It was really, really unenjoyable to play. Um, it honestly gave me a headache for quite a while until they started doing the, the performance upgrades and more recent updates. But it does make me feel a lot more inclined to play and it's just straight up enjoyable. Uh, it wasn't necessarily about the actual frame rate because the frame rate can be at 40 and it can be fine. But it was the frame rate instability so it would be at 40 and then it dropped down to 5 and then 13 and then 60 and then 20 and then it was just all over the place. Now it is a lot more consistent. I rarely get any stutters. For me at least it's pretty much on par with Watch Dogs 2 performance. When the game first came out, I could only really play for an hour or two at most just because of the frame rate instability, but now I'm finding myself playing for as long as I would play Watch Dogs 2 or even the original Watch Dogs, so pretty much all day. Like I said, I never doubted that they would fix the performance issues, but I just wish they would have done it sooner or delayed the game and had it you know, be a, a finished product at launch because I would have played it a lot more and I would have enjoyed it a lot more. Another thing I want to talk about is something that I've been doing recently that I've never really done with any other game and you can't really do it with any other game because of the Play As Anyone system. Now I did make a separate video talking about my opinions on the Play As Anyone system, but those have changed since then. You know, back then I only had like two or three operatives. Now I have like uh, f 15, 20 maybe. I have a lot more operatives and the reason why is I've been doing this thing where I go around I try and find someone that looks interesting and I, I kind of ignore their their background like usually all the operatives will have a, a bio in the game and I'll have like oh where they, where they were born uh, where they went to school or, or whatever but I ignore all that and I just kind of use my imagination and create a bio for them like for example here is my stealth operative Moen she is a new recruit in DeadSec she's a stealth operative and she only goes out at night but she's a little bit inexperienced and she slips up a few times I kind of get into the headspace of that character and give them a storyline. Because there's no main character with a storyline and, and specific traits that are really fleshed out, I kind of just imagine it. And I realize this is not for everyone, but this is just something that I've been doing. And it's actually been really, really fun to do and just kind of uh, use my imagination. And also something more recent that helps with that is the advanced character customization that came out in the last update. Now what I can do with this is pretty much customize my operative to whatever I want in really, really fine detail. So I will definitely say my opinion or rating on the Play As Anyone system has definitely improved over the past six months. And for me personally at least, I find a lot more value in it. It's something that you're not really going to get in any other game because most other games, they have a set story, which is a good thing. They're, these are both good things in, in different ways, but they'll have a set story and there's not much room for imagination or guesswork. But with this, you can really do whatever you want. And more recently, there have been some story and gameplay leaks of the Bloodline DLC. Now, I haven't looked at any of that because I... Not because necessarily I don't want to get spoiled, but because I want to experience it in the finished product. I'm going to wait until the summer when it actually comes out for real. Because think about back when the Half-Life 2 beta got leaked and how different that was from the finished Half-Life 2 game. So I know of the leaks, but I haven't really investigated them too deeply. Also, I will be doing a full review on the Bloodline DLC once all the content is out. I believe it was uh, late July or August. And also something back to the point of the performance. It is a lot easier to appreciate how good the game looks when you can actually run it at a consistent frame rate. Oh, that's another thing. I've gotten some really nice shots using the in-game camera mode, which I've been using a lot more because I've been able to appreciate how good the game looks. And of course, we have to talk about multiplayer. Now, multiplayer is something that I haven't really played too much. I mean, I played it enough to where I can have an opinion on it, but there's nothing really too much to say about it. It's just as fun as the multiplayer from Watch Dogs 2, if not more fun. 
and there's a lot of different activities you can do around the map there's a lot of different game modes and they're still continuing to add more game modes so i'm going to be looking out for that but multiplayer which is still fairly recent will probably take me another six months to get a good opinion on it and one more thing i will say is that i managed to find some of the bunker music or the music that plays when you're in the hacker space which I've been looking for since day one, so I'll have a playlist linked in the description or in a card right now if you guys want to go check that out. So yeah, in conclusion, the game is just a lot more enjoyable. I find myself playing it a lot more often and for much longer play times. And yeah, if you stop playing near launch because of the performance, I recommend you to go and check it out again. There's also another update coming soon, which I believe adds 60 FPS mode for console, so things are getting better. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Let me know what you guys think about this. What are your thoughts? How has your opinion on Watch Dogs Legion changed over the past six months? And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.